Well, hello, folks. This is the legend Mike Wilkerson with Senior Legends Podcast. Thank you for tuning in today. Got got one of my another one of my favorite players we're going to be discussing, which is Billy Sims and his contribution to the University of Oklahoma. And I'll also talk about a little bit of his pro days. But first, can I ask you to jump out, hit that like button, hit subscribe, <clears throat> turn on your post notification bell. That way you won't miss any OU or college-related football content that I will be dropping in the future. And also, this video is brought to you by Devil Dogs Brew and Beans. He's a veteran, former Marine, combat vet. Uh, I'm happy to announce that I'm affiliated with him. He's got so many brews and mixes on his website that it's just far too many to mention. I could do a whole video of it. But go to his website, uh, devildogbrewandbeans.com. And when you place your order, use promo code SOONERLEGENDS. That way you'll receive 10% off your first order. Free shipping. And as soon as the the beans are uh, roasted in the ground, they will be shipped to you immediately. And for every dollar you spend on his website, a portion of that goes to the Wounded Warrior Project, which is a win-win. So, let's talk about Billy Sims, shall we? <laughs> and one of my, my, in one of my, opinions probably one of the most colorful running backs we've ever had at OU. Uh, he was originally from St. Louis, Missouri and then lived with his grandmother in Hooks, Texas, where he was part of that uh, blue chip, Texas blue chip player. I mean he was he was awesome while he was at Hooks. He was one of the one of the special ones. And uh, in a story that I heard about Billy, a college would come would come talk to him and he'd recruit to him or commit to him verbally. <laughs> and the last one he committed to, which his grandmother wanted him to go, was Baylor. So then old Barry Switzer. <laughs> God bless you, coach. <laughs> recruits Billy. And the recruiting process is as much legendary as Billy Billy's legendary status at OU. One of the recruiting stories I heard is uh, OU was playing Colorado, and during the halftime, uh, Coach Switzer <laughs> calls. Billy at a gas station he's working at in Hooks. <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> but anyway, the owner of the gas station puts Billy on the phone and they keep they keep talking. And when the ref came in and blew the whistle, he told Billy, he said, he said, I was just seeing if you're still interested in Oklahoma and I gotta go out and finish this ass kicking. I'll I'll be back to you next week <laughs> and then another funny recruiting story that was told by billy he finally comes up to oklahoma in norman on his his official visit but before billy got there <laughs> barry had Kay, his wife and all of his kids number 20 jerseys made <laughs> and, and when Billy arrived, the first place Coach Switzer took him to was his house. And there's Kay and all the kids with number 20 jerseys. And he said, see, Billy, they're already selling your jerseys here in, here in Oklahoma. <laughs> Fascinating stuff, man. I love it. But anyway, let's uh, dive into Billy, shall we? I got some notes wrote down. Uh, he uh, played for OU from 75, 75 to 79, which he ultimately won the Heisman Trophy in 1978. 
he redshirted his sophomore year due to injuries. He got injured his sophomore year. And um, he was, like I said, he was highly recruited uh, by all the major universities. And uh, after finishing up his career before he was drafted to the Detroit Lions, uh, his total yards was 3,820 uh, games played. He played 56 games. His attempts was 544. He averaged seven yards per carry and scored 48 touchdowns. For his time at OU. Of course, I have many, 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 many memories of Billy. Uh, one of the one of the heartbreakers was the year that we uh, had to play Nebraska again in the Orange Bowl, uh, and the game, the regular season game that we played Nebraska at Lincoln. Billy got down to the five or four yard line and he fumbled and Nebraska beat us in that game. And it made Billy sick. It really did. And so ultimately we, uh, we got to uh, face Nebraska again in the orange bowl. And Billy told coach that you, uh, you, uh, you, you can rely on me. And, of course, one of my all-time favorite quotes during Billy's time here at OU. We were playing Nebraska, and we was down a, a couple. And uh, it was Billy's senior year, and Coach Switzer goes to Billy Sims, and he says, hey, Billy, you got one more in you? And Billy says, Coach, I got you. And we ultimately won the game. I think that's pretty cool. And, uh, of course, how can we all forget 1977, Ohio State? We lose Thomas Lauder, quarterback, to a hamstring injury. And Billy Sims, he says he injured his Achilles. I hear it's a high ankle sprain. I know he went out of the game. And uh, Kenny King went out of that game also. But I've got a video how we won that game coming up. No spoilers, please, in the comments. But uh, Billy was certainly one of our most beloved running backs at OU. And I, I, the memories I've got from Billy, I can, I can do a three-hour segment breaking down each game that Billy was in and tell you exactly what happened. But I'm just keeping it short and sweet. And, of course, he uh, got drafted in 1980 to the Detroit Lions. He was first-round, first pick. And uh, some of his pro stats, his rushing yards was 5,106. He averaged four and a half yards per carry, and his touchdowns was 42. Uh, his receiving yards was... Uh, 2072 he had 186 receptions on five touchdowns and of course some of his accolades at uh at detroit was uh he was offensive rookie of the year in 1980 he was second team all pro in 80 he was first team all pro in uh 81 he went to three Three pro, three pro Bowls spanning 80 to 82. He was NFL uh, rushing touchdown co-leader co in 80. He was PFWA all-rookie team. He was on the Detroit Lions 71st, 75th anniversary team. He is a member of the Detroit Lions all-time team, and his number 20 was retired. Now, his... His time at Detroit was cut short, and I was watching that game when he blew out his knee, and that, that ended his career. Uh, but another piece of Billy Sims gold, Chris Berman, I can't, I can't remember the year. 
it might have been 81 or 82, but Detroit was uh, playing Houston. And uh, instead of being tackled, Billy goes up in the air and kicks that Houston player in the head. <laughs> and, of course, Chris, Chris Berman, being Chris Berman, he called him Billy Kung Fu Sims. <laughs> Well, there's your nugget for Billy Sims today. I surely hope y'all enjoyed this segment. And I just uh, got an alert. Uh, I'm up to 67 subscribers. I want to thank all of y'all for subbing my channel. Without y'all, Sooner Legends podcast couldn't be possible. Thanks to each and every one of you who who tune in. And please leave, leave comments. Don't be Don't be afraid to leave comments. Uh, I love interacting on this sooner stuff. Hop down in the in the comments and tell tell the legend what you think about old Billy Nelly, and uh, we'll uh, chop it up in the comment section whether you liked him or you didn't. Positive or negative comments about Billy Sims, leave them. I I read read and respond back to all comments. And once again, thanks to all of y'all for pulling up, watching Sooner Legends podcast. I love each and every one of y'all. Y'all have a great day. This is the legend. We'll see you on the backside.